Hey guys, it's Zajald. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be answering a pretty important question that I've been asked a lot lately, and that is why I chose to work in tech and kind of like my backstory going into this. Like, sure, I attended Georgia Tech and studied computer science, but let's take it a step back to where I started from, why I chose tech, why I'm still in it, and I guess the perks that I enjoy as well. I really hope that this video can be beneficial to anyone who's currently eyeing this field or are simply interested or curious about my backstory. And if you guys do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and without further ado, let's get right to the video. Alright, so let's rewind the clock a little bit. Going back in the day when I was about four or five-ish years old, I had a weird obsession with the calendar. Now, if you're confused as to how this relates to why I work in tech right now, just bear with me, I'll get to it. Alright, anyways, one day my mom came back from the bank with a calendar that they had given her for the year 2006, and for some weird reason, I got super fascinated by it to the point where I would actually memorize it, and I didn't really realized that I was memorizing it till one day my parents were like talking about a certain date like for example May 2nd 2006 and I was like oh that's a Tuesday and I was right and they were a little shocked then they asked me another date like September 1st 2006 and I was like oh that's a Friday and they were more shocked that's when I realized that through my weird obsession I actually started memorizing the calendar like memorizing the days of the week and I started looking and trying to memorize other years as well. But don't get me wrong, it wasn't just root memorization. It's not like I just looked at the calendar and I regurgitated what I saw, but rather it was some memorization combined with pattern finding. In that, I noticed that some months, like I think August and May, were similar in the days of their week. Or for example, in a non-leap year, February and March are almost identical in that regard. And so this fascination and obsession with pattern finding in the calendar continued to grow and I was successful with it. And then I think I realized that I was actually at my heights when this one old relative of mine bet me 100 Qatari rials to tell him the day that he was born and it was a particular date in the 1960s and I actually answered it correctly within seconds and I won the money. But anyways, over time, not really sure what happened but my obsession definitely faded away i wasn't too interested in the calendar anymore but through all that i think i definitely laid the groundwork for my ability to think efficiently and so growing up in grade school math was definitely one of my most easier like subjects that came very easily to me and so i guess similar to my thought process with the calendar in math everything seemed very formulaic and pattern like like if you learn a certain process to solve a certain systems of equations for one problem you applied the same sets of rules to solve any other problem similarly. And so if I find it an efficient way to just solve one problem, I should be good for any other problem. And so kind of like in the calendar, the years would just change, but the patterns would stay the same. So in math, the numbers just change, but the problem and the way you solve it stays exactly the same. And I was able to recognize that. And then continuing forward in high school, I took two computer related classes which were computer math and AP computer science both of which I thoroughly enjoyed and I did pretty well in and once again just like the calendar just like math solving problems now in code was just kind of like the natural next step for me and obviously in coding it's probably where it comes to the epitome of efficiency and just like how I would find efficient ways to come up with a solution in like finding the day of a particular date or solving a certain problem within math coding kind of goes in a similar alley because instead of doing processes manually, you write code to automate it or to do it faster. And so my whole ability to solve problems and solve them efficiently through childhood continues to this date. And so upon completing those courses in high school, I knew my natural next step was to study computer science going into college. And I've made tons of videos on why I chose Georgia Tech for computer science or why I chose Georgia Tech in the first place, all the courses that I've taken during my bachelor's and master's here at Georgia Tech. So check out those videos if you are curious. But I guess the overall theme of working and solving problems efficiently continue to be manifested in my college courses and internships and so I guess the way that I work and the way my brain thinks align very well for what I was getting out of and the stuff that I was doing hence this is kind of like my backstory and how I entered tech and why I chose tech in the first place and now a word from our sponsors so real quick, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for some sort of career guidance or are interested in software engineering at all. And so if that's the case and you do have a bunch of questions that you want answered, be sure to sign up for your one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Link right here as well as in the description below. Be sure to, when you sign up for your session, be as detailed as you can because I want to help you as best as I can. I'll prepare ahead of time. I'll answer all your questions and I really hope to see you there. All right, so that was the main gist of how I got myself into tech. Now this next part will be about why I'm 
staying in tech and kind of like the perks that I enjoy. Hopefully this part of the video will serve as motivation for those who are kind of on the fence about tech or have a job and curious about what you're about to enjoy. All right, so the first thing that I want to say just to, you know, get out of the way, but it's obviously the pay. No other job opportunities right out of college do you make similar amounts of money. With base salaries, stock grants, and bonuses, tech jobs outperform a lot of other industries by a lot. And it actually takes a lot of other fields many, many years to reach some tech job salary. On top of being able to get promoted within one to two years of starting your career, switching jobs potentially, like switching companies, and negotiating properly, I know people who have quite literally doubled their salary just within a couple of years of starting their career. And so for reference points for any specific numbers or companies, definitely check out levels.fyi. That website will show you down the breakdown per company, for each role, how much it pays, base salary, stock grants, bonuses, all breaking down. It's really extensively put out there, so definitely check that out if you're curious. But I guess in terms of compensation, it doesn't stop just there. There are a lot of other perks. So as you guys know, I work from home, and so my whole work desk setup was actually provided to me by my company, and they actually sent someone to assemble it for me. The whole setup, which was definitely worth over a couple thousand dollars, was sort of just given to me just like that. And some companies, if you work in person, will actually provide you with meals refreshments and a whole bunch of other things in fact one of my friends who worked at Facebook this last summer said that they had a whole doctor's office on site and in fact one of my other friends who worked at Google said that he was given free massages as a perk of work on top of that some companies also have really nice gyms on site and in fact for one of my internships I would go 40 minutes before work to get a workout in and then just go a couple floors up and straight to my desk which was you know really convenient and at that point you have no excuses to you know not hit the gym and so the whole point behind all this is you have all your needs taken care of at work so you don't have to worry about anything that'll you know distract from your work or distract from your productivity other things for me as a remote worker I get to expense my internet and cell phone bills onto the company and also just as an additional perk not all companies have this but when I do travel I can actually reimburse my flight tickets to a certain amount each time as part of this wellness initiative by my company and a lot of these benefits these tech companies they plan on getting better and better because as more and more tech companies offer for these benefits they kind of compete against one another so if one tech company offers some stuff the other will try to match that and then the other company will try to do even better than that this way they can attract more and better talent which in turn helps grows the business and that puts more dollars in their pockets overall